dare you attempt to give me, the Great Zan, an order? I'm calling him the favor you owe my father. <laughs> yes. Very well. <laughs> I will honor this. The whole town, you say? <laughs> yes. Burnham has humiliated me and must pay the price for his defiance. Good! <laughs> Good! I was looking for something to amuse myself with before I deal with Warlick. <laughs> Excellent. How many of my men will you need? None. What? Are you mad? Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> It, it, it will take one week for my army to arrive in Falcon Reach. Look past my shoulder. <laughs> I have already <laughs> sent them a little taste of what is to come. <laughs> this is the end. Now. Get out of my way while I finish this. No! <laughs> what?! We have defeated all four million waves of your fire monsters. And the town folk are safe. And as long as there is still one unburned board left in Falcon Reach to defend, you will have to get past me. What? You? You are going to stop me?! <laughs> Leave now, Zan. This is your last warning. <laughs> I am trying to figure out who is more insane! Me? Or you? Perhaps you have me confused with the garbage that attacked here previously. You will not last three rounds against my fire magic. And when I finish you... <laughs> <laughs> My flames will engulf every last person and thing in this town! I've never felt a power like Zan's before. But I must try. The people of Falcon Reach are counting on me! For Falcon Reach! <laughs> now to finish you off. <laughs> What's this? Still alive? Well, well, well. You might have proven an interesting challenge. If I didn't have the Pyronimicon magnifying my abilities. Now. <laughs> you burn like your town did. What? Warlick, you say? <laughs> what a wonderful day! Too bad for you, hero. I was going to finish you quickly, but now I leave you to a slow death. Farewell, Burnham! I've got a meeting with an old friend. <laughs> See you in the afterlife! Oh, the weather outside's delightful. But my fire rather so, so frightful. Zan! Bam! Good to see ya! I'm not called Santa Claus now. At least for the holidays. <laughs> Ice Master Yeti is going to be angry when he sees how you've redecorated his place. Ha! You think that wannabe Moglin scares me now that he's gone soft? If he ever comes out of hiding, my Frost Army will take care of him. How does a Pyromancer gain control of an army of Frost Monsters anyway? Funny stories! A short time ago, I fell into a pool of lava. Accidentally fell? Do you want to hear the story or not? Fine, go ahead. As I was saying, I accidentally fell into some lava. The underground magma currents carried me for a long time. It's not like the lava could hurt a guy whose face is on fire. Eventually, the magma brought me to a frozen cave near here. 
That's when I found this. The Agnognomicon. In its pages are the secrets of the greatest chiromancers in history. A mystical tome made entirely of ice. But I thought that fire magic was your life. That you hated the cold with a passion. I'm trying something different. Stop interrupting. Once Septature found out where I was, he gave me orders to destroy the Frost Moglins once and for all. <laughs> Listen to me, Zan. I was visited by the ghost of Frostville, past, present, and future. I saw what happens to Lore if you don't change your ways. Does the planet turn into a giant dead ice ball? Uh, actually, yeah, it does. Great! That was my plan all along. I can't wait for a little peace and quiet. Wiping out those insanely cheerful Frost Moglins is just the beginning. I'm gonna burn their village to the ground. Then, when they have no homes to hide in, I'm gonna freeze them into extinction! <laughs> That's where I come in. I won't let you or your new minions hurt a single hair on those Moglins' heads. Ha! <laughs> you think you can stop me with my mastery of fire and ice magic? A single warrior could never stand alone against me. Merlin doesn't have to stand against you, Merlin. Ice Master Yeti! Sorry, hero. I couldn't take the chance of letting you mess this up. I told Chili that I wouldn't let anything happen to him, and that is a promise I plan on keeping. I was really hoping you'd bring Warlick along with you so I could kill you both at the same time. But this is a close second! Ha ha ha! I'm doing this for Chili. But even if I never meet him, I'll squish you just for moving my stuff around like this! Ready, hero? No! My own fire spells melted the Agnognomicon! Wow, I feel kind of... dumb now. With that book gone, you should have lost control of your Frost Army. Now Ice Master Yeti and I are taking you back to King Alteon to answer for your crimes. I don't think so, Burnham. We won't be taking Zaren anywhere. You're letting me go? Not exactly. Your fire spells have also weakened my cave. 